Hey everyone, I wanted to do another video, um, and today is Tuesday, so I wanted to do a changing your wax video. Um, and there's many different ways you can change your wax, and I'm going to show you three of them today, um, and how um, I like to do it, and what I prefer um, for my mini warmers and my big warmers. So I'm going to flip you around so that you can see what I'm doing here. So I've got set up three of my warmers. Um, so this is the little garden warmer, the aloe vera warmer, and the mini why are you blushing warmer. Um, obviously I don't keep all three of these here normally like this. Um, usually this one is in the bathroom. Um, this one does stay here. And then this one is usually in my kitchen, but I wanted to bring them all here so I could do um, one video. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this is a silicone mold. And as you can see, these are all wax. So these are all times that I've trans, um, changed out my wax. And this is actually the method I prefer, um, is just to dump the wax in one of these molds. Um, so you literally pick, a, pick up the bowl and simply pour it in there and let it harden. And then I just take a tissue, wipe it out, and I'll pop in my next wax. So that is um, my favorite way to do it. Um, another way you can do it is you can buy these cotton cleanups um, from Cincy's website. Um, it's a huge cotton pad and it says it will um, take up to, what does it say? Four, um, four wax cubes at a time. Yeah, up to four wax cubes at a time. Um, I only have one in this warmer because that's all I use for any of my warmers is just one cube um, and then when the smell is gone I switch it out with another cube so all you do with these you can buy them in this um, Scentsy store is you just drop it in there and it'll start to soak up the wax um, so that is super simple simple way um, to get your wax cleaned up or if you don't want to buy those you can just use simple cotton balls and this is actually what I use for my mini warmers um, because if I tried to pull this thing out of the wall, I would per for sure get wax everywhere. So, um, instead of trying to get wax, pull that out and get wax everywhere, I'm just going to drop these in and it will soak up all of that wax. And then I can simply pick them up. So look, I mean, it was in there, what, three seconds? It soaked up all the wax. And then I simply take a tissue, wipe it out, and now it's ready to go for my next. Look at my cotton cleanup. It soaked up all that wax. See how it's blue? It soaked up all that wax and now it is ready to go um, for our next cube. So that is simply three ways you can do it. Um, like I said, I prefer this way. Um, because I don't have to waste tissues, I don't have to waste cotton balls, I pour them in there, I let them harden, and then um, my daughter Emmy, she likes to play with these. So she will pop them out, she's actually the one that kind of color coordinated um, them. She'll pop them out and she'll play with them. And I have probably 30 more of these um, that I keep in a bag and she plays with. So now that all my warmers are free of wax, um, I can simply start popping new cubes in all of them. Um, these two that I keep, um, this one I keep in my living room and this one I keep in my kitchen, I always put the same um, wax in. Um, but then the one in my bathroom, I actually will do a different wax, um, but I only brought um, one over here right now. So that is three quick ways um, to change out your wax. Um, so I hope that helps y'all. And I hope you all have a great Tuesday. Bye.